Good morning. It's Sunday. Today's assignment. Front brakes, ABS lights coming on. Not so much of an issue, it happened on the back. And when it happened on the back, it turned out, brakes were worn. Took this in from the MOT a little while back, well, for a friend. And he did come back and tell me that the uh, in, uh, inspector has said that the brakes are wearing, need sorting. Well, now is the time to sort it because ABS lights coming on and I'm sure I'm hearing metal on metal, although it's very faint. So, today's assignment, let's get those wheels off, get those pads out. Already bought the pads, just not got around to doing it. This will be interesting. Uses. <laughs> right, pistons in. See how much wear I've had. Where did they hold ones? Look at that. New, old. Wait, they're really knackered. Alright, I'll shove that out of the way. Yeah. Well, what am I doing wrong? I'm going the wrong way around. That's why you, dickhead. One. Two. And I hate it when jobs go well without any hiccups because it usually means you're going to have a problem later on somewhere. Like the other side will bust on me when I undo a bolt or something. Right. It's actually quite an easy job this one. The back ones are a little harder because this tool kit here. This toolkit here, you actually do need to have the ones with those in because you've got to wind the piston in instead of just pushing it. Same procedure on the back as it is the front, except you wind the piston, you don't push the piston. There you go, the solid. Right. It bit me. and all underneath the car where it's spewed out of the bowl. You look under there with the camera. As the brakes wear, 
as the brakes wear, this is to some of you guys out there that don't have a clue about repairs, as the brakes wear down and they get thinner and thinner and thinner, you have to keep topping your fluid levels up. So when you go to put brand new pads in the actual car and you push the piston back in, what effectively happens is all the fluid in the pipe work has to go back up somewhere and it goes back up into the reservoir. When it does that, there's more fluid in that reservoir than is needed because you've added it as the months have gone by. So it can only go one way and that's straight out of the lid and on the floor. So don't be alarmed at that. But if you can catch it without it hitting the road, unlike me, that would be great. Basically, we need to repeat the whole operation. Which I'll talk you through it a little bit. Not often I do tutorials. Mm. I should call myself the bungling mechanic. It never goes right. Never ever. Right, before we take that last one out, there's one left. Now you get the jack in. Time. Touch the fluid. It's guts everywhere. Let's hope I get the right spot. You need to undo those. That's I need to pry that off. There you go, that's off. Then you get a screwdriver inside, very gently, carefully, not to bend up these little springs, catches. A word of warning, when you're doing brakes, don't just do one side and not the other, because what will um, happen is when you're going along and you put your foot on the brake, because the brakes are better on one side more than the other, the, the vehicle will tend to steer to the best side so for example this side is good that side is bad you put your foot down hard and emergency stop and all of a sudden your steering will snatch to that way and that makes it very dangerous you need to change those on both sides equally best advice i can give i'm doing this right you know? now i'm doing it wrong again but eat your heart out ed china right watch Is it? It's getting there. It's slowly rising. Is it? Yeah. Oh, a stand. <laughs> now there is a catch tray underneath, so. Right, that's that pushed in. You will note that there's a flat edge and a flat edge, flat edge and a flat edge. Let's just go on like so, because they lock. There you go, you see what I mean? That stops the rubbers from twisting up when you do the nuts up. And we put the bolts back in. I'm happy with just that procedure. Is that straight to the floor? Right, the pads have now took up. Done. Right, we're going to test this. Make sure these are basically working. So we'll nip down the service lane. 
spongy, but they've got to work in. Yeah. Oh. What's that all about? It could be crud around the, the ring. There's a ring, or there's, I understand there's a ring anyway. Okay. Let's see if it goes out. Engine management light out. Ah, let's come back on. Fortunately, EBS. Was that ABS? Is it ABS? Well, the service lights just flashed up. But the, the ABS hasn't come on. What's EPS again? What did you say it was? I thought ABS was the system brake system. Anti brake system, yeah. EBS, I think I said. EPS, EBS. Maybe I just need bedding in, that was what was the problem. Okay, well, we'll call that a success. The service light has even gone out when I slammed the brakes on. So maybe they just need wearing in. I'll have to have a look and see what that thing is. So that's an open question for another day. So, guys, I just thought I'd give you a bonus video just to show you what's going on in my life. Thanks for viewing, and I'll catch you on the next truck. Um, oh, there is one other thing. Um, this September is a show coming up for bikes called Cop Doc Motorcycle Show in Suffolk and I'm planning on going. I would like to know if you guys would like me to record the uh, event because it's one of the biggest um, events this side of um, Europe to be honest with you. It's huge. You've got, you've got bikes, you've got um, stunt riders down there, you've got the wall of death and stuff like that although that wall of death is expensive to enter. I won't be doing that. Um, there's lots of stalls. There's also a big old bike jumble that's usually quite good. Um, sometimes that bike jumble's better at the end of the year, but this one's in September. It's kind of getting close, but normally in October is when they hold the show. But due to COVID, um, they've decided to bring it forward. Um, I think because the the place where they do it is booked up for that that. Um, that time period so leave some comments in, in 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 there and i'll do that as a bonus video i won't mix that video with any other video i'll just go i'll film as much as i can edit it and chuck it up if you guys want it i need more than three comments to say yes please um if i get less than three i shan't bother because it's a, a lot of recording a lot of editing it's a real pain in the butt but i don't mind doing it if you guys want to see it so it's even motorcycle football apparently well there was last last time it was on that was a while ago. Anyway, see you next week. Bye. Right, quick update. That ESP, I got it a bit wrong. That is actually now switching off now. Um, I'm assuming it's because the pads weren't bedded in. And uh, the, the computer system, oh, they have to lead downstairs. Couldn't recognise what was going on, so it had got its tits in the pickle and uh, shut the system down. But that is now working. Um, and the anti-lock brakes are also now kicking in because you can hear the pedals bouncing up and down, whereas before you couldn't. So yeah, successful. Please with that.